When the Empire Strikes Back was in pre-production, there was an idea for a squad of super commandos from the Mandalore system armed with weapons built into their white suits. The costume prototype was repainted for Boba Fett, and the idea of the Mandalorians was paid lip service to in the Empire Strikes Back novelization by Donald F. Glutt. As mentioned in the novelization, the Mandalorians were now imagined as a group of evil warriors defeated by the Jedi Knights during the Clone Wars. Fett's popularity inspired a wealth of expanded universe literature about him, which assumed he and his father were Mandalorian like their armor. When it came time to introduce the Mandalorians in Season 2 of The Clone Wars, George Lucas and Dave Filoni looked at Mandalore in the expanded universe and decided to keep the broad strokes of their history. Much of the Mandalorian history referenced was subsequently rebranded Legends, and not considered canon. Filoni wanted to give the Mandalorian people's appearance a Nordic flavor. The Clone Wars art department looked at Fett's armor and translated its angles, particularly the diamond shape on the breastplate, into every aspect of the Mandalorian aesthetic. Felony and Lucas felt it should be made clear that the ancient Mandalorians were an army, not a ragtag band of warriors wearing customized armor, so Death Watch would look uniform. The decision also kept Boba Fett's armor unique. Felony hoped to eventually show how the Mandalorians became mercenaries who supplied Fett with his unusual armor. When Death Watch reappeared in Season 4's A Friend in Need, the characters were given a greater variety of gear, lending them what Lucas described as a biker gang feel. Before its cancellation, The Clone Wars was to depict the Siege of Mandalore. Writer Henry Gilroy said Mandalore was likely occupied by the Republic before it turned into the Empire. He speculated due to Mandalore's importance, it was likely a soft occupation, with a new Mandalorian puppet leader ruling the planet. Star Wars Rebels has since confirmed that the Mandalorian named Bo-Katan Kryze became Regent of Mandalore following the siege, and was deposed by Emperor Palpatine following the end of the Republic. The siege was later depicted in the Clone Wars revival on Disney+.